What's up, my V love? What's up, my V love? I got sounds. Smell delicious. Mm. Beat love, beat love, beat love three times. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Okay, let me read that's too much. Too uh, anyway, y'all, we have two rotisserie chickens today. And guess what, y'all? We are going to try my garlic butter sauce. First hey, pass, garlic first butter pass, sauce. First pass. Hey, garlic butter sauce. Yeah, first time, y'all. I ain't even got a chance to marinate, but I just want to um, give have my husband taste it and all that stuff. We're going to say grace. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food and drink that we're about to receive. We ask Father, you bless it that it may be nourished to our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And they might have gone. Okay. Here is the butter. So let's just do a, 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 a little a thumbnail. Thumbnail. Yeah, I didn't even get a chance to get let it marinate, but this is the first day I'm making it. But it, it's marinated a little bit. So we going to see y'all. We going to see y'all. First off, let me give a shout out to Be Go Live. What, yes, what? yes, yes, y'all. If y'all want to know what Be Go Live is, it is a global Go. social network streaming app, you guys. It is free. You go in there, you see tons and tons of people around the globe. I mean, they got over 400 million users that you can meet in 150 countries, y'all. I mean, a lot of people go on there and stream, I mean, everything. You won't see everything. Anything and everything on that site and very very interesting so it meets everybody's needs Whatever you want eating maybe uh, people just modeling people doing pranks and jokes or whatever They just live streaming their lives so go over there and check them out y'all and guess what your girl is gonna be on Beagle Beagle live I'll be um, going live all this month um, Basically what you got to do is download the app below it's free y'all free 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 Hey y'all, I just downloaded Bigo. As you can see, my um Bigo ID is B Loves Life. On here, you can search for nearby creators, as you can see. And also, they have an option where you can um look up popular creators. And so this is the popular page. Also, you can have multi guests on your live stream. Right here, as you can see, these uh, multi guests on the live streams. And you also can chat with your guests. They have live games going on. You can also give gifts as you watch your favorite creators. So I hope you guys join me on Beagle. I will be live this week. I think this would be a, a cool app for us to get together, get closer and all that other stuff like that. But Beagle is a free app, you guys. Download it now if you want to see your girl go live. What you need to do is click the link in the down description box below and Beagle Live app. And follow me on Bigo ID at B Loves Life. And you can watch my live stream for free in the upcoming month. So stay tuned. And that's, that's what's up. up. Let's get to eating, baby. I am. I'm in there. I'm in there. Thank you, Bigo, for uh, sponsoring this video. Oh, uh, look at that. Here, you want to I'm hungry. And, uh, Here, baby, I got your knife. You got that knife? And he ain't even trying to take it. He ain't it. trying to knife. He, he ain't trying to take it. I ain't trying to knife the bird. What, 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 that, what, that, what that thing say? We want to talk. What, what that thing say on uh, Mary? Listen. Okay, well, uh, Happy spouse. What, what? No, yeah. House, no, house. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. said happy styles, happy house. Yeah, so we've been watching uh, Mary. Man, Mary. Australia. No, that wasn't on that one. That was, was that? On, no, that wasn't. That was on that was. Um, Mary the First Type. Yeah, so, we've been watching all of them. Y'all know how it is. You know, married couples got to watch. We watch stuff. So we, we watch, watch stuff. We like though. watching other married couples and see how this yeah. stuff go on. Because, honestly, Ooh. I couldn't do it. You couldn't do it? Heck. Mm-mm. You couldn't do I'm it. I'm not getting married at first sight. You can do it. I'm not getting married at first sight. You crazy? They brave. A stranger? They brave. No, nah, I'm not doing it. They're very brave. Mm hmm They're brave. Mm, it's hot. It's hot. Mm -hmm. It's hot. Mm. You want to keep hot? the drawers up. Listen, y'all, she be nuking some food. Oh. When she have to heat something up, uh, yeah, she put it on, on 10 minutes. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. That's good though, baby. You like it? Mm-hmm. I'm using my spice, y'all. Mm-hmm. 
But this ain't no spicy, y'all. This is just garlic herb. So y'all got uh I have cilantro in here, but that's optional because a lot of people don't some people don't like cilantro, they're allergic to it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. So anyway, we were watching Married First Sight, y'all. And I don't know if y'all married couples do this, but let me just ask you this. Mm. If you married, or even if you've been dating somebody and y'all 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 close, y'all watch TV together and all this other stuff. And y'all watch anything on TV has to do with some couples. And then they start having a discussion about something. And then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. why is it that they discussion bleed over into your relationship? Right? Whatever is going on with mm -hmm. them, all of a sudden y'all talking about it like, huh, mm -hmm. you would do this. And then he gets in trouble. Listen, I, how did I get in trouble? <laughs> this is not got nothing to do with me. It don't have nothing to do with what you know. It don't have nothing to do with me. What, what did I say? Mm -hmm. I'm watching TV same as you. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we watching um, Married at First Sight. And Woody and I think her mm -hmm. name is Amani. Is on I'm there. Not, oh, yeah. I think her name is Amani. Oh. So they're having this discussion, y'all. Man. With Dr. Uh, what's the doctor's name? I forgot it. Pastor somebody. Pastor somebody. Anyway. So, I see y'all yeah, may seen that part. So we watching it. And he told he tells her, you know, communicate. Don't don't surprise me. He basically said, don't surprise me. Like for example, don't come home having cut off all your hair and you bald and you just you spring that on me. Right. Don't do that to me. And she looked at and him. And she like, looked at him. How she look at him? Like, what you mean? She, I, if she, I want to cut my hair, it's my she body. Said, it's her head. It's, it's her my hair. body. Exactly. I could be able to cut my hair if I want to without telling you. And honestly, they was doing really, really good till they came to that moment. Listen, y'all, they only been married for eight days. Eight they days. Eight days or seven it was good. days. It was good for that eight days. But when they came to that moment, right there, right there, they had a small disagreement. That one's small. Yeah, they, had a, they had a disagreement. It was small. But it, it might have been if 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 pastor if the pastor wasn't there, it might have been larger than what it was. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna tell you what happened, y'all. So she said what she said, and he said, "Well, you know, what if I'm not attracted to you after you do that?" Right. And she said, "Our oh, attraction is only my looks, or something like that, something related mm -hmm. to that, y'all." And. So then, that's what I said. Personality. Lo and behold, the discussion leaped out of the TV. <laughs> it leaped out of the TV into my bedroom, <laughs> and all of a sudden, we back and forth, back and forth. Like she said, that shouldn't matter. She could cut off her hair or whatever. I said, mm -hmm. listen, okay. First off, the discussion wasn't about <clears throat> whether she could cut her hair off or not. The discussion was about communicating mm -hmm. with each other before you do something like that. Mm -hmm. That's all that Woody was trying but to get But he didn't get say across. that at first. But that's what he was trying to get across. Look, look, don't surprise me. He said that at first. He said, don't surprise me. Just communicate. Mm -hmm. Tell a brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so then what happened after the conversation leaped out of the TV and into my bedroom... We started going back and forth like, okay, well, it, she should be able to, to cut her hair. Yeah, but she should also talk to him. This is not a single thing anymore. That's the thing they haven't figured out yet because it's eight days in. Mm -hmm. They haven't figured out when you love, when there's a lot of love involved in with two people. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's a certain mutual discussion that happens before you do stuff because you like, you just, it's just, it's just there when you love somebody. Like, it, it, and also too. You're not gonna lose attraction like that when you're in love with somebody. You know what I'm saying? But it, we ate. They eight days in. They eight days in. They don't love eight. there. So they're and, and they're eight. still thinking. They're still thinking individually. She like, well, I'm my own person. I can cut my hair if I right, want to. Exactly. And he said, well, I'm my own person. But, I'm, hey, but I'm, wait, wait, wait. I'm putting this in my words. He was like, well, I'm my own person too. I can choose. 
Because you cut your hair off and you bald and I don't like bald, then I'm not necessarily attracted to you while you bald. But that's not, but see, I told him that was wrong. Because you know what? If I get pregnant and I gain 100 pounds, you gonna lose attraction for me. If you lose attraction for me, then what you gonna do? And that's exactly what women or, do. Or, or if I say, and then the man, the pastor said, what if you get alopecia? Right, but listen. And he said, oh, that's different. Oh, right, that's it different. is different. That's different. Oh, that's different. It's different. Yeah, that's different. You wanna different. know why? Let me tell you why. No. Let me tell you why. First point I want to make as a man mm -hmm. and as a husband is you saw how the first thing they went through, went, went to, first thing she went to was if I gain weight when I'm pregnant. Okay, first, let me take you back. The discussion was not about her changing her appearance and him not being uh, attracted to her. The discussion was about communication. Okay? There is nothing yeah. need to be discussed if you gain 100 pounds because you got pregnant, we decided to have a baby. So I'm part of that. No. Your, your pregnancy fat is like my glory. And you, uh, come on now, y'all. Your pregnancy fat came from you bringing a child of mine into this world. I'm not going to fault you Every man don't think that. I'm not going to fault you Every man don't think that. I'm not every man. I'm just telling you how I you think about the situation. Man. And I'm also trying to say, look. That's not the same thing as you saying, I'm going to cut off all my hair and not tell me nothing about it. And then you come home bald as a chicken. And then, whatever. Looking like this right here. But I'm still the same person. I'm still yes, the same you person are. Body. Love on the inside. But that don't mean just because you love somebody on the inside you are that you to like food. to look at them. And all he was saying is, give me the opportunity to tell you that I may not like to look at you if you cut your hair off. Now, the go to pastor, go to pastor, uh, whatever, I, can't, I don't know why I can't think of his name. Mm -hmm. Is it Pastor Ian? Mm -hmm. Might be. Anyway, to go to what pastor was talking about when he said, uh, what if she gets alopecia? Right. Someone who gets alopecia does not desire to be bald. And so, therefore, what they're going to do, like most other women that I know, is they're going to put on a wig. They're going to put on something. And, therefore, it's not going to be a bald situation. Because most people that have that condition like that, if, if they have an ability to do something different, they're going to do something different. So, don't, 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 don't put it up to us like uh, it's a medical condition and then you ain't going to. No, that's not how it goes. All he was trying to say, and I, I, I restate this again so that y'all don't try to come at me in no crazy kind of way, ladies. Mm -hmm. All he was saying was communicate. Mm -hmm. Communicate to me so that we can be on the same page. And it would be no different if he said to her, he didn't say nothing to her, but all of a sudden in his mind, he said, you know what? I think that I want to wear dresses every day from now on. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really like, you know, masculine clothing. So I'm going to wear a dress every day from now on. Possibly some days I may also decide to wear a wig. Now, that's no <laughs> different than you saying you're going to cut your hair off and surprising me. If I show up on date night with a dress on, you gonna be attracted to me? Baby, that's so No, 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 it's not. Yes. No, no. Hair is a, um, hair can be changed. Hair can be cut off. Hair can be he, put on. And he about a dress hair, can be changed. Clothing can be changed, can be taken off, can be put on, can be, can be altered. This is the same way. We're not talking about something that's unchangeable, like your skin but, color or your height or something like baby, that. Some people are very true with their hair cut short. I, I don't disagree with that. We're not talking about that. What we're talking about is him, his comment that if you're going to change something about yourself, please talk to me. That's all he was saying. Mm -hmm. That's all he was saying, y'all. But then he said, what if I quit my job? Up and quit my job. See, he made the argument wrong. Right, that was the argument wrong. He made the argument wrong. The argument should have stuck with something in his physical appearance that he could change that she may or may not like. Right. That if he would have if he would have stuck with the confines of the of the argument, he would have been better. But he took it to somewhere else, and then you could argue that's not the same thing. Right? No different than 
alopecia is not the same thing as you cutting your hair off. It's not the same thing. And that's what he said. He said, oh, that's not the same thing. Like, if your wife is going through something, some sort of condition, mm -hmm. of course you're going to be loving and supportive if there's love there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if it's just like, oh, you know, that's all I'm saying is that I don't think that at that moment in time, it was the best moment in time for them to have that type of discussion. I think it was. Let I think me just say this. Okay, go ahead. I believe in communicating. Is that we, you have to learn that in a marriage, communication. And when it's times of where I wanted to cut my hair and I tell my husband, baby, I want to cut my hair. Would you, do you like it if I come here? No, I don't want you to cut your hair. And, that. and you know, I'm thinking like, okay, I can still wear a wig and everything, but he just, do you know, just can't go with the fact that I can cut my, I can get my hair trimmed, mm -hmm. but he don't want to cut. So I think there are many, many beautiful women that, that wear their hair cut. bald or low mm -hmm. cut or short. Mm hmm told her when we first met though see this is again this is again communication we talked when i first met i was like look i don't really want your hair shorter than mine and i was wearing a ball fade <laughs> i wearing a ball fade at the time but when i first met her she had the side of her head you had the side of your head shaved before yeah i had my hair shaved so you know that's my first man. That that wasn't a big deal. But he got, just, you talking about cutting it off. You talking about cutting it off. This is big. This is this is. But he liked it better when it was long. When I had to cut, look, grew it out long. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, sometimes I say, let me get my hair cut. I'm gonna get my hair cut. But then you know, I was gonna wear. I was wearing wigs. I always wear like to wear weeds. So. Mm, when we first met, you weren't though. You were wearing braids when we first met. Mm-hmm. So it's different. Mm. Yeah. Mm, just some she my switch up all the time, y'all. And in the beginning, I had to get used to that. But I actually liked it. I didn't know I would like it, but I do like it. Mm-hmm. So if you got a cute face, you probably can get along with anything, get away, away, away with anything. And you know what? Sometimes, sometimes when you don't have a cute face, hairstyles can help that situation. For real. Oh, sometimes when you got a cute face, hairstyles can help. Hairstyles make like change the shape of your face almost, mm -hmm. like the way the shape of your face looks. Like if you have a round face, there's certain styles you can't wear. If you have a skinny face, there's certain styles that complement okay, well, that. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So that's and, um, makeup too. That, I think that's the same for men too. Like like some men can't uh some men can't wear a ball fade because you got you you know what I'm saying you got a a, a pack of hot dogs in the back. And that's cool. Whoa. That's cool. You know, a pack of hot dogs opposed. Listen, <laughs> listen. Let me tell you right now. People wear things for a lot of for a variety of reasons. They they wear their hair a certain way. They may wear bangs because they don't like a part, certain part of their forehead, or they may they may you know wear a beard because they got a double chin. They, people do whatever they need to do to compensate. To make them, yeah, to make you them. You know what I'm saying? To make them feel good. So. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Right. So by the same token, if you met somebody and you like a certain thing about them, and they change that certain thing, you, you know, there should be some discussion because this is a marriage. This is not a, mm -hmm. you know, it's not individuals. Two shall be not, one, y'all. It's not trying to control nobody, but at the same time, you want me to be attracted to you? But we still uh, individuals, you know but we still... you still an individual. Individuals where you can make your own decision. And you are making your own decision. And all it, all he's trying to say is that in in the realm of, of love and marriage, your uh, actions, kidding. though individual, affect your spouse. And so, therefore, there should be some communication. There should be some input on the behalf of your spouse so that you don't end up in a bad situation. That's how good marriages stay good. Yeah, but you should, you don't be telling me. Why'd you tell me that, uh-uh, that, uh, mm -hmm. you ain't walking down the street holding my arm? There's a lot of situations that I wouldn't. <laughs> I'll just be me. Hold on, y'all. Let me clear my mouth. Yeah, because I'm finna knock, I'm finna, he ain't got it clear, because I'm finna put you in your chest so you can just swallow it. Look. How many times, how many times you gonna walk down the street with me when we both in the dress? 
Oh, here we go. Huh? I'm going to need an answer. I'm waiting. Whatever. I'm waiting. Wait for my answer? Yeah, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for your answer. You ain't wearing no dress because you're not a dressed person. Okay. A person that wears dresses. Uh -huh. No, I've changed. No. <laughs> See? That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. It, 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 it's, it's, it's either communication or it's not. It's either one standard or it's a double standard. And that's all it is. That's my thought on the situation. Whatever. So, I, while I don't know Woody, don't know him from a hole in the wall. Don't, con don't condone or not condone anything that he may or may not have done or said. The principle behind the communication piece that he was talking about is valid. Mm. Well, my thing is you do have to learn to communicate. I'm telling y'all. If you want to communicate in a marriage, man, y'all going to have some issues. You already got issues anyway. Mm -hmm. Two people coming as one anyways. So just think about two people coming together, different personalities, different everything. You got to start living together. Then you sitting up here and not communicate with me. Oh, it's going to be some problems. I think that's probably the most challenging thing about that show. What? Communication? Um, well, that's a big part. Like figuring out how either other two, how each other communicates. Mm, is it? Ooh, cause that one guy. They got he, don't talk. He don't talk. Listen to me. They got herbal communication communication skills on um Australia. Mm, some of them, yeah. The one in Australia, Mary at first started to Australia. That thing is good. Yeah, that's good. It's really good. But you gotta think about it like this, y'all. So you coming into a situation where there's no love. And that changes so much. What you mean where there's no love? You, where the person, like, they don't love each other let, yet? Let me, let me just explain this. I'm going to explain this to all y'all out there that are listening to this conversation. And all of you all know this already. You are very intimate with this detail that I'm about to share. When you fall in love with somebody, you overlook certain things about them mm -hmm. out of that abundance of love mm -hmm. you overlook some of the little quirky quirky things that you may have noticed that i don't really i don't really like that you know what i'm saying you overlook that that's i'm gonna knock happens. you out that's what happens though i didn't say i didn't say that was about you that's not about you baby see i'm <laughs> listen <laughs> but you that. overlook you know certain things because you are so in love that you are like they say you're blinded by mesmerized. love. Yes, you mesmerized by that. I said mesmerized. Oh, well, you know. You said like, mesmerized. Mm, mm, mm. That's what it is, though. Is you mesmerized by my love? I'm still mesmerized. So that means you go do it whatever. Huh? You say whatever. You say oh yeah. yeah I'm still mesmerized. Anyway, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna knock this it's man my out. Girl, <laughs> but but what that's what I'm trying to say is there's a love when when there's love there, you know the Bible says like this: love covers a multitude of sins. It does, and it can be said in a different way. Love covers a covers a multitude of uh, little quirky things that you may or may not like about your uh, spouse. But all of that comes with time. They ain't had no time. They ain't got no love. So every little thing that you don't like, it's a red flag. It's like, whoa, run, yep. run, <laughs> get out of here. Because you don't have no relationship built, no friendship, no love, no nothing. So it's like, we start from scratch and you are already like this. And so the problem inherent in the process of married at first sight that the experts try to break through is the abnormalness of the process, the abnormalness of the speed at which they want you to develop this relationship because relationships don't develop over eight, eight days, over mm -hmm. six weeks, mm -mm. even like that. It's just, you, you know, you're talking about a month and a half. We, man, three, it takes, to me, You like, marry, right. and you're talking about a month and a half. Yeah. And, and for a lot of people, you know, you get married and that day is honeymoon night. There is no hesitation. In fact, in fact, it, there should be great anticipation on honeymoon night for what is to come, the consummation of the marriage. But because I 
just met you like literally four hours ago. You ain't getting them. You you ain't you ain't yeah. You ain't getting them for a long time. Yeah. It's people that ain't got them for six weeks. Listen, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, like yeah. That ain't gonna work for him. He's a rabbit. He's a rabbit, y'all. Listen, I'm just I'm, I'm in that situation. I would be different, of course, because I don't really know you, and. I'm kind of that. But what I, if you was really highly attracted to her? Like if you met me and said, "Oh, you know, this is gonna be my wife," and we got married. You already know the answer to that. So I don't even know why you asked that. You already know the answer. What's the answer? You want some? Huh? You want some? <laughs> I, but, I listen. I, I listen. I, I'm. Well, I, don't, I ain't gonna even go into details, y'all. But I'm just saying. <laughs> he get on my nerves. I'm just saying, like you know, we married at that point. You know, especially if it's been. Actually, a month. Is so, would you be frustrated? Would you be frustrated with the process if I'm like, I'm not ready yet, and it's six weeks in? It really depends on how well the intimacy has or been. Or if I'm saying that I'm not really like into you like that. Oh yeah, I know everybody that has that happen. I know they feel like some type zone. of way. You a month in, and they talking about no touching. Yeah, I'm really not, you know, feeling you uh, like that. You know, we not really. Mm, and attractive. it's a lot of us like yeah, that. It is because you know what? They matching you not based on physical attraction. They're matching you based on, um, well, they. I'm sure they have some of that, but they're trying to match you based on your personality and traits and beliefs and core values and all of these things that are really more important than physical tra attraction because they say attraction will grow well my question is, is will it have grown by the time i have to say i want to stay married because that's what two two months will it have Eight grown weeks. by the end yeah two months so it, it, i'm gonna tell you if you six if you six weeks in Mm-hmm. And y'all still ain't kissing? And uh y'all ain't showing no there's no rubbing, there's no touching. It's a wrap. After the five days, yeah. baby, ain't no she said he said I gotta kiss on the cheek. After five And he wanna watch my face off because I had to kiss on the cheek. He didn't want to watch his face off. No, he he didn't say that. Yes he did, the no, black guy. Really? The black Oh, you probably didn't see Woody? Oh no, no, the other, other his dude, friend. The other couple, yeah. He in trouble. They he in trouble. trouble. <laughs> but honestly, honestly, you, you know y'all, when y'all looking at these things, you're always trying to figure out what it is that is the underlying issues that are the main reason why these people are not married. Yeah. I, if y'all don't look at that and way. say, what would possess you? To jump into a married at first sight situation. I always ask that. We we ask that. And then when you start to see 30 somethings, 40 somethings, 50 somethings, even like 20 somethings. You be like, wait a minute. You say, Why are you not married? If you're a good person, sometimes you feel like, man, this is the person good person. Some, on some people, not all the time. Now, a lot of these, this is me, y'all. If I question the man, they be like, yeah, I'm good to a woman. I do this for my woman. I wine and dine. I do this. I do that. And I be like, okay. So, why are you not caught yet? Why is it that and you've been dating all this time? What is the problem? Everybody, if you hadn't, you, he, this man said he didn't have 10 relationships. And I'm like, out of 10 relationships, you telling me I, you doing all this and being this good man and none of them want to pick you up in the world we living in, it's hard to find a good man. All the good mans get taken real quick. Well. So it's like, uh, something is wrong. It's a question mark. To me, it would be, wouldn't it? Probably. Maybe. But sometimes had, it'd be women. He said he had 10 monogamous relationships and he's 26. So, ten. How long did they last? Is the question. Right. Yeah, he said ten. Mm. He said ten monogamous relationships, mm -hmm. meaning that when he was in those relationships, he wasn't with nobody else, not dating nobody else, not seeing nobody else. And so, that's how long I, did they last? Because you, but I mean, are you going back it, to age sixteen? Because he's only twenty six. But are what's they the a problem? Year is this a problem with you? Oh well, I don't because know. Because for you to date that many people and not find the right one. Mm. It's hot out here, man. I don't know. There's some good women out here, though. That had got hurt and probably guarded. Okay, so now you want to talk. <laughs> you want to talk now. 
Let me tell y'all, ladies. Let me tell y'all right now. I'm sure y'all have a few things to say to us men as well. But I'm going to tell y'all right now. There are a lot of good men out there that are waiting for the right woman. Right. And you may be a good woman, but you've been hurt before. And so, therefore, when you meet that good man, all you seem to know how to do is blame them for all the bad men that have did you wrong in the past. And so, therefore, they can't get past your walls because you got them built up like daggone Fort Knox up in this bad boy. And um, you know what? A lot of men out here, some men don't want to invest months and months and months trying to figure That's you out lot, and break baby. down your walls and all this stuff. Yeah, we're we, 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 we going to keep going. And um, they don't want to do that. So, you know, yeah, that's why sometimes you don't, you can't find a good man because you probably done passed three or four of them that you didn't treat right because you've been hurt. And I get it. I totally get it. Mm -hmm. I totally get it. I understand why people put their walls up. I understand why they don't trust. I understand why they make people wait longer before they allow themselves to open up. But I'm going to tell you like this, as much as it hurts, as much as it is, as it is very painful to have uh, been in love and had your heart broken. People say, you've heard it said, it is better to have loved and to lost than to have never loved at all. And so while it's painful to get hurt, you will never find that one unless you open yourself up to be hurt. And that is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Right. It is, what it, is. it is very unfortunate because if you don't get to the place where you can trust that person um, or if you don't develop a level of trust. And I'm not saying jump into anything and I'm not saying compromise your values and I'm not saying, you know, don't make a brother wait. That's not what I'm saying. Right. Not at all. Make sure that you hold, uphold your standards. Just make sure your standards ain't ludicrous because some people's standards is just outrageous. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Do you own your own country? Are you the queen of the world or what? You know Why what I'm saying? Why did you say that? Because some people stand, some people, some women's standards be so doggone high. Hi. And, <laughs> and you look at them or you, you know, you trying to figure out why is your standard so high? Because you don't look like your standards should be that high. Y'all gonna get me for that, but I, <laughs> I don't care. I don't care because y'all say the same thing about men. I'm just saying, like, y'all, man, some, some women just try to make you, you, you got to be. Jump over hoops. Man, you got to be the, you know, the, the prince of Egypt and have, you know, millions of dollars and, and have a nice house and a nice, and y'all got all these requirements. All these requirements. And ain't me not one of them. You don't have that <laughs> stuff. Dude. Nah. You ain't me, not one of them. You ain't me, yeah. Like, I want your credit score to be like this. I want this to be like that. I want you to have this degree, that degree. I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, let's be real. You want to meet someone. I'm not saying lower your standards. I'm just saying be realistic. I'm also saying, though, at the same time, if you have achieved a certain place in life or thing in life, of course be wise with who you pick. Of course, look at all those factors and your standards and all that stuff and measure them against yourself. But don't be a hypocrite. Don't say the man got to be this, that, this, and the other. Hey, you ain't did none of that yourself. Yeah, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And but it's like, it's like, you. It, it, it's just that when you, the moral of the story is when you in a, a, a relationship with anybody. Turn my bird around so it look like it's a little bit eight. I he ate, don't eat that I much, y'all. Eat that much, y'all. Um, because of the keto. But oh, anyways, keto. um, the moral of the story is when you in a committed relationship with anybody, a husband and wife or whatever, it is good to communicate because communication, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I am that one. Whatever's on my mind, I'm blah, 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 I'm speaking it out right there and there. But if you a person that hold things in over time and over time, over time, y'all, it is not good. But at the end of the day, like I said, when we talking about the hair thing and everything, mm -hmm. 
I, if somebody, if I tell him I don't want, I want to cut my hair, he said, well, you know what, baby, I'm not really attracted to that, you know, I would, you know, I, I would say, no, please don't cut your hair. Just like him, him he asked me, baby, can I cut my beard? Oh, I yeah. Cut she, my yeah, beard off. For sure. Or, baby, I want to, uh, I think I want to do this to my, and I'd be like, uh-uh, no, you ain't doing that. I'm not finna, I don't feel that. Yeah. Like, I do not like when he cut his, all his beard off up under his chin and all this, I don't like it. And he and he and I hear tell me I'm I'm not going for it. Beard, that's why I'm not going for it. And that that's what the, I like. That's the type of compromise that I think is appropriate in marriage. Right. And, and you say okay, well, it's not, you know, she's not taking away my individuality. Right. Of course, I can do whatever exactly. I want to do. But at the same time, I respect want her that to woman. like what she see. Right. And vice versa. So that's all. This. That's all it was. That's all. I think that's just, just that. I think that's other. something that they just will learn as they go on. Yeah, and I don't you mind. Know I mean? You know, my my thing in my marriage, I you could be submissive and be a er, 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 certain own individual, and you could always be both people could be submissive, submissive to each Cause, other. Because because the way it's says it the bible said it like this submit yourself one to another right you ain't gotta be like oh yes sir yes sir yes ma'am yes ma'am you can't, yeah, do, you can't do that i can't do this Listen, is you crazy there's times where there are times when each one of us need to listen to each other you know what i'm saying you may think you're right and in reality she right and vice versa and and sometimes you just have to yield and say okay you know what let's try it your way and it would try it my way or whatever the case may be. You know, and then sometimes you, you gotta be very, very to the point where not let your pride let go of that pride. It's like, baby, you were right. Right, right. That I that mean, goes a long way, y'all. You were right. Especially as men. As men that goes a long way. Uh, being able to admit that you're wrong or that you were right. I'm gonna give y'all a case in point. See, so just so y'all know it's real and it's alive in our relationship and in our life. Y'all live. Y'all so, live. This is what it was. So y'all saw the video. We was decorating Darius's um, Darius's uh, oh room, his apartment. Oh yeah. yeah, his apartment, right? And so we were at the store, and it was a long day at the store, y'all. Long, long day. Long day. It was just a long day. Trip. Period. You yeah, know. a couple of days. The trip. It was a couple of days. So you got you dealing with the jet lag and all this other stuff. Your body's feeling some type of way because you're three hours off, and to you it's it's one in the morning, but it's only like ten o'clock at night. So whatever. So we had been gone all day that day, and we were getting all this stuff. And I, you know, she was still picking up pictures and all this stuff from from the store to hang. And I'm like, I'm literally, I'm ready to go in the store and I'm like don't you have enough pictures that's enough pictures what is you trying to do this this enough it's a room how many pictures do you need you know what I'm saying and I literally I was like I was just thinking all this stuff in my head y'all cuz I was tired and I was ready to go so we get we get back to the apartment and do all this other stuff and finally hours you know me hanging up pictures and doing all this other stuff you know I, I took a step back and I looked at it and for the first time in looking at all that, I saw her vision. See, I didn't see the vision. Right. I didn't see what she was doing. This mm -hmm. stuff was all in her head. She knew. She had looked at all the areas. Mm -hmm. She knew how she was going to lay it all out. Right. And I didn't know. Right. And I, you know, honestly, when I stepped back and I took a look at what, what it looked like, I said, you know what, baby? I was wrong. You did a, you did a really good job. This looks really nice. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm going to tell you in that moment, that's what you need to do. You know, when you realize that you were wrong about something, go ahead and speak up in a minute. Don't hold it back. Don't just don't just be quiet about it. Yeah, you know why? Because it will prevent other arguments in the future. So if anything right. else happen, happen again, they'd be like, okay, I know she know what she's doing. She, she it's a purpose of her right. uh, trying to pick out this and pick out that. So I'm going to trust the process. You will trust the process better. And um, and the second part of that I would say too is. Um, you should always lead by example, right? right? So, so if you did that and understanding that you were wrong, right? You should then expect when there's something happens and you know the the shoe is on the other foot, right? That they will acknowledge that they were wrong right. too, and that's what really allows you to grow in the right. relationship. Because we both say sorry in this relationship. Oh, you have to. I'd be like, baby, I'm sorry, or yeah. he'll say sorry first, like, baby. Yeah. Okay, we if we have a a disagreement. And we talk, we just heat it like, mm, I ain't gonna, I'd be like, I ain't gonna talk to him for a whole week. It never happens, y'all. It'd be like 20 minutes. 20 minutes. <laughs> I'd be like, why can't I be that person that be going for a whole week or three days? Because you know what? It's, it's so hard it's, to do that. I don't know how people do that. Time, that. That time is precious. Well, yeah, I know that. But I'd be like, how do they stay mad that long? And my husband will come up to me and be like, come over here and kiss me. 
Babe, I'm sorry. Because you know what? It's not. You you realize after it's all over and the emotion is gone. Mm -hmm. You realize that was stupid. It was done. You know? And then, even though he said he's sorry, then I feel some type of way. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry too. Right. Or vice versa. We both say we sorry. You know, it doesn't matter. Because... And then when you look back, I'm like, what was he arguing for? That's the whole what thing. What was the whole part? Sometimes you... <laughs> it was so stupid! Sometimes you gotta... Sometimes... Now, not, not, again, go back into my... My, my spiritualness, y'all. Sometimes you gotta recognize when the enemy is working amongst you. As Boy, a, as a couple. Mad. Because when you figure out that whatever it was that you was arguing about she was like, absolutely stupid... What? Whatever that disagreement was made no sense after the emotion is gone. Then you know, okay, something was something extra was happening in them. Because this is not even something that I would normally get mad at. You and, know what I'm saying? And you know what it is? Is you need a hamburger, a chicken piece of chicken in your yeah, life. Yeah, you need hungry. something. You hungry. You hungry. You, you need gotta, to eat. You hungry. You got an appetite for something. So, you know, something ain't right. So oh, you need some. You, yeah, I mean, appetite. That's what I was trying to say it. In, I was trying to say it in a better way. You know, just appetite for something. Yeah. You know I, mean? I said some. I didn't say the word. Okay. But yeah, that's the so marriage is like, uh, man, it's a, it's a puzzle piece because sometimes, sometimes in in marriage and relationship and communication and all of the things that happen, like there's there's pieces that you're still trying to figure out. Oh, okay, I got this little piece, couple pieces left. Does this one go here? Do I have to turn it sideways? You really even just after to even after twenty something years yeah, of marriage, sure. y'all, you still trying to find that each other in life. You're still growing and you're still getting to know because you know what? In time, we change. Exactly. I get you know women. We get older. We have menopause. Or we're getting older. We're not moving the way we used to move as far as you know physically because. You you know, you you when you were your 20, 20 year old uh, yourself, your twenty year old self ain't like your forty year old self. Listen, I know. Trust and believe. That same thing with a man. Everything. My twenty year old walk. I don't do that no more. My that, that listen. When I was, I used to be on my on my Nikes and when I was twenty. For some reason, I walked twice as fast as I do now. You don't remember that? I used to call used it. To the, I used to call it the tech walk because you know I was a I was a manufacturing tech and I used to have to go fix stuff and I they call me on the radio and I would all. be boom I'd be there now. Can you catch up with that twenty year old Nate? <laughs> listen, I ain't gotta outrun twenty year old Nate. I just gotta outrun you, baby. And I do that. No, I, you I, don't. I do. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. You think As you I do? do. I, well, I run. It's twenty times man. I have walked and passed you. Okay, yeah, I don't know where those times are. And anyways, y'all, <laughs> just, just things change in, a, in, a, in a, as you get older. So you have to readjust to that. Yep. So everything, even down to, you know, personality, attitudes, you're like, ugh, I don't like that no more. You change, you evolve. You just evolve into something else as you, you know, as you get older. As you get older. Yep, that's it. But I'm still on plan. We're still working. I'm down 25. 25. Y'all, it was 18 at first, now 25. Still working it. I'm gonna I'm be under 200. I'm gonna be under 200 for sure. Um, yeah, he's sticking with it. Yeah, and, you know. Um, and you know what? You gotta give yourself a break. He uh, does. Otherwise, he you, if you don't, um, once you do, you'll find that your weight loss picks up again. It slows down to you your not, plateau. You're not giving and then when you give yourself like that, a break, though. no, but but was once, twice, and. Ooh, how many months has it been now? It's I don't on, know. It's going well, on three months now. Yeah. But my thing is, the thing about it is, is that he's not depriving himself. Right. You know, and that's the big thing. Like, even if he wants to, like, I'm still hungry. He gonna eat. I'm gonna eat. And if he's at a steak restaurant, he's gonna eat up the whole steak. And it don't matter. Yeah. Because you're not overindulging in sweets and all this other stuff. Now, time to time that we get, he gets really hungry and he has no other outlet. He'll be like, okay, let me just get one burrito from, uh... Oh um, yeah, I would get Bell. um And that's so it. I will get one and that's not overindulging indulging. No. He go right back to what he was eating and it's right. not that bad. Or if he wants a oh, oh he he split a, a a dessert with Darius one day, but it was a split. 
And yeah, that that was and, that was actually the day I, that I cheated, yep, that I broke, and yep. then I came back, and then yep. So that's so it's okay if you do that, but it's not you can't overindulge in it. You just again, it goes back to willpower. It goes back to what do you really want, and how and much how hard are you gonna actually? I'm determined. I'm gonna make my goal. I'll be in, I'll be hitting that scale every day. So if I see myself inch, if it's an ounce <laughs> in the wrong direction. Listen, what did I do wrong yesterday? I'm going through and looking at, you know what I'm saying? Because even though that's unrealistic, y'all, y'all know you float. You're going to float probably three to four pounds uh, Wait, either water. way, mm -hmm. you know, with water weight, with, with um, you know, food in your body that you got to be eliminated, et cetera, et cetera. So it is what it is. So That's how it would be, y'all. That's how it would be. But we're going to let y'all go. I forgot. We got to go. We had a meeting, y'all, a business meeting. Uh, uh, yeah, we what do. time is it? It's at four, but it's only two fifteen right now. Okay, y'all, we got a business meeting, so we are about to peace out this piece. But you guys, so this is the garlic butter. Now, this is not the manufacturing kind, so this is just what I put together. Um, I may. You think it's, it's good enough? Well, there's gonna be some tweaks to it, probably. So we may do a little bit more tweaks, y'all. We just tried it out and everything. We just wanted to be perfect, but then, and, and then you have the center to the manufacturing, and they have the center samples back, and then you gotta make it thin with their stuff. So, and we gotta say we like it, yay or nay, and then that's what it be like, y'all. Exactly. Yo. So we got a, we a little bit of process and. Yeah, and we did, I didn't let this marinate either, so I got to take that in hand. But anyways, I do miss the spice though. That's why I do. I miss the spice. But you can't have spice in this. Yeah, so you gonna have whatever you want. Yeah, if you put it on there. Yeah, whatever you want. They can do that when they want to add it. But that'd be dumb. Yeah. Put it. No, pray for Anyway, teachers on y'all. I'm sorry, teachers on. All right. Thank y'all for coming out. God bless. Good night. Yes. You ain't going a good night though. You ain't going night. No, I gotta go work. I gotta go work. Gotta go work. You look like you gotta go work. No, I have some allergies, man. I I can't. I I tried to take some. I took some. You didn't go take. You, you need to go to go get some um. I did. What's going? Uh, Allegra, I got some. You took one. Yeah. Did it work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need that anymore. Um. Uh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, cause I would have been running over to the left right now, cause I promise you, like my nose been running, and I can't stand it. I can't stand when he. <sighs> oh yeah, the itchy throat. Oh, I be uh, wanting to, oh, take his head and and put it out the window and, th and, put, and throw, put the window down, so he uh, can be out there, and your body in the house. That's why it's over with for me. I, I had to go get some, cause you know I ain't had no issues really. Um, probably because we were traveling so much that I was in so many different climates. Yeah. And now I'm back here, and it's just turning into sort of fallish, and that's when it starts. Just like that man. What was that man on? Uh, uh, Mary at first sight to Australia. And she had the sleeping thing on. She was like. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! That's she was still, she, <laughs> these two conversations aren't related at all. Yeah, she was snoring mm -hmm. loud. I know he wanted to. Oh, uh -huh. just take her and just throw her whole body. All I'm saying is that outdoors. that might be why they in separate rooms. That might be. Really? You know they don't sleep together. I know, but you say he's not attracted to her. That might be why they in separate rooms. I don't know. Cause of the snoring. I don't know. Baby, I don't care if I snore as loud as I want. You would put me in a separate room. No, probably not. Or would you take the snoring? I don't know. I think she just needs a different CPAP or something because... She needs one over her mouth. Yeah. She needs something different. So it won't be... uh, So she can uh not hear the snoring. Right. But you don't, you don't supposed to snore when you have a sleep mask. Right? Um... I thought that takes away everything. No, listen. What's the purpose of having one? This is what I'm trying to say. She got the wrong. She got, she got the wrong. She probably mask. got the wrong one. She, she got the wrong get, mask. She needed to get she another to one. Get, she need to get a full mask or something. Cover that. Cover that up. Ugh. They shouldn't even show up that part. That. I don't need nobody do that. Listen. Do to me. Do to me. Why did y'all do that? Why they did that? Y'all be sneaky. Y'all be. did that for a reason. They yeah, wanted to make sure that they got that one in there. That, don't, that didn't make no that sense. I said, why bad. did they do that to that woman? That was bad. Sometimes them producers, I think they, they be doing they, stuff on they, purpose. They caught it 
when she was in the middle of a full snort too. Right. It was bad. It was bad. It was just like that man on uh, Married at Boot Camp. He's a counselor there and they put it right on his ball spot. Oh, yeah. They put I don't that, know and I said, why do they do that? I said, they know I mean, that. obviously, he's good with it. He, he don't have no issues with it. How do you know he was good with it? He probably didn't see that part until later. It's on TV now. It's out there. I said, why is the angle right on his head while he talking? I don't know. They I, so, basically, what they did was, the couch was over here and the other person was over here. So, they set up the camera, like, behind his head, pointing. And so, all you see is his head. Baby, no. The, but they could have pointed another angle. They could have, or they could have cut that whole part out, and you just heard saw the front of the part of the um, uh, get the other part of the person of angle. I don't know. You know, sometimes, okay. sometimes, Let sometimes we have issues with with our flaws, and sometimes we people get used to it, and they just like, you know what, I don't care. Of course, you get used to it because I, I, I some people at, don't care. At this point, you don't care when you've been on there for so long, and people say that okay, come up with something new. I, I understand that. Okay, get that. Because everybody's gonna have their uh, something that somebody ain't gonna like and about. And usually, it's in a place that you can't really hide, like your head or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's something like if you got seven toes, nobody's gonna know. Nobody's, nobody's going to know that you got seven toes because you're wearing shoes all the time. You're not going to be out here in sandals because two of them toes going to be off on the side. So you already know that you're going to wear full clothes, you know, full covering shoes and nobody's going to know. But if you got one of them things where, you know, maybe you're, and, and, and this is not meant to be funny at all. Maybe you're a wrestler. You wrestled for most of your life and you got cauliflower ears. That is, that's a thing. Wrestlers get cauliflower ear and... They don't. They not. Yeah, of course, it looks different than anybody else's ear. What is cauliflower ear? Is that bigger? It's fat? Yeah, it, it gets, it looks totally different. I'll show you when we get done. But yeah, basically, because you, you know, when you're wrestling, your ears are constantly being rubbed and all that stuff. And it, it kind of irritates them. Why is them. it being rubbed from, hit, from getting you, hit? It, being headlocks and doing all this oh. stuff. Yeah, your head is all, you, it's constant when you're wrestling. So, a lot of wrestlers develop cauliflower ear oh, because of it. Oh, I get what you're saying. And no, 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 I haven't seen the cauliflower ear, but I know what you're saying. Cause I'm thinking, well, 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 I didn't show you a few examples. Did you have you ever had it? No, I never had it. I didn't wrestle. Can it go back to the normal after you finish your wrestling career? No, no, it's, it's, it's that way. No, it's forever. Can you get surgery? I'm sure you can, but your ear is fine. You just don't look normal. It just, it's like it builds up cartilage or something. That's like. crazy. It makes your ear look a lot different. Some people have a mild case of it. Some people have a... Severe case. Yeah, it looks totally different. Their ears look totally different. They call them cauliflower ear. But, you know, what I'm saying is, like, in that situation, it's, it's totally explainable. Like, yeah, I wrestled for many, many years. You know, or whatever. I wrestled for whatever. And that's how you get cauliflower ear. And, and you know... What do boxes get? Listen, hopefully you don't get nothing if you don't get hit a lot. Now, if you get hit a lot... Sometimes yeah. they have brain, brain yeah, it's a lot damage. Of stuff. The boxes get a lot of stuff. You know, you get, you get hand injuries. You get you, you, you swell up easily Yeah. because you get punched a lot. Yeah. You know, so you swell up easily. You know... Um, Blood you vessels. Fractures in your eyes, oh. sockets and stuff. Yeah, I stuff can't. happens if you get hit. You know, if you get hit a lot, All that yeah, pain. stuff happens. Well, you know, you wouldn't get a ring with Mike Tyson for for a milli, for a cool milli. You what? You wouldn't have got a ring with with Tyson for a cool milli. I'm not finna get a ring with nobody. I listen. I'll take a shot from T. I'm not. I don't like I'll that. I'll take a I'll take a shot from T. You will. Cool you milli. ain't got. For you a cool is milli. not. No. You is not getting cool no ring. Milli. For him to knock you out. Listen, I'll take a for shot. For him to from knock T. you out. For the cool milli. I'm, you know, I'm gonna have my hands up. You know what I'm saying? And you gonna be like this, like them other man on them that on that 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 flow. Listen, they don't know they got hit. They out. <laughs> they, they don't know. You woke up a million dollar richer though, boy. That's what you did. Woke up a million dollar richer. And when he knocking out everybody, it's not Baby, like they don't, it's not like you say you got paid. knocked out. Yeah, they get paid too. You get paid when you lose too. Is that right? A million? I lose. You get paid more when you win. You just get paid more. You get paid when you lose. Huh? I go to fight everybody then. Yeah, they they pay you just to get in the ring. You can't be anybody though. Let me see. Let me see. Can you be, can you be anybody? Uh, you gotta be somebody. Yeah, no, you gotta be somebody uh, to get in the ring. Well, I ain't in the ring then. Yeah. I ain't gonna let, let me in. Let's do. If they get paid a million dollars to get knocked out for one second, you know he just all he do is hit you. I ain't gonna get my all in. Let me see. 
yeah, 10 to 50K for regional and national titles, probably 500 to 2,000. Uh, but when you have won a big old prize, so yeah, you get paid. Yeah. That's crazy. Man, give me a million dollars. Now I don't know if I want to get knocked out because my brain, your brain may not want. Yeah, some hey, somebody that got knocked out and they never came to in, into um their normal mind. Yeah, I'm sure it's a lot of people like that. I don't know it's very rare. Is, it's yeah. very rare. Yeah, you can you can get brain damage. You know. What I'm yeah, saying? but they never came back and you know. You get back you, to you can get damage themselves. Yeah, get punched in the throat. Only got two throat. <laughs> <laughs> only got one throat. Only got one throat. Can I do it again, lady? I only got one throat. I only got one throat. I only got one throat. Dang. That's a shame. Uh, anyway. Okay, y'all, we're going to let y'all go. I'm getting tired. Why is it sitting? I'm sitting here and getting tired. I don't know, but we got things to do. 50 billions. I got to go at it. You do? Yeah, I got to get this video out. Share and subscribe.